Hey guys, Jonathan here. Welcome to Beer Tour in Seoul. Today I will be looking at Tiger Brothers Mild IPA Platinum. If you guys watched my previous video, I made an introduction of Duck Duck Goose IPA. Duck Duck Goose IPA is one of the IPA type of beer for uh, entry level. So if you're not really used to that strong, distinctive hot flavors, Duck Duck Goose was the uh, good choice as an entry level. And this, as the name suggests, Mild IPA. This will be also a recommended entry-level IPA type of beer. Why won't we switch it up a little bit today and I will pour the beer in the glass first and have a taste and I will explain about the level afterwards. So here we go. Tiger Brother Mild IPA Platinum. As soon as I open this can, I can smell that tropical scents from a specific type of hop they've used. Uh, they've used American hops when they were manufacturing this can of beer. And let's pour it down the glass. One of the distinctive characteristics of an IPA, the standard IPA beers are that they are very cloudy because highly concentrated IPA flavor will create cloudiness in the beer and the color will be darker. But for this beer, mild IPA, as you can see, it is light for an IPA beer. So let's have a taste. It's heavily carbonated. Beers being heavily carbonated is more than a trend now. It's something that we are used to and expect for when before we're drinking a pint of beer. Uh, that carbonation is a must now. It's more than a trend, and that relief that you feel, that refreshing sense when you drink a heavily carbonated liquid or drinks or alcoholic beverages, that's the satisfaction from refreshing sense. So it's a must characteristic, more than a trend now for a beer. So there is definitely a, a tropical scent from that specific American hop they used to manufacture this beer. As I go towards to the end taste, there's a strong bitterness that just flows in in my entire mouth. So it's bitter. If there are standard IPA, that strong hop flavored beer, there are more bitter and stronger hop uh, flavored beers, and those are the IPA. But mild IPA just obviously falls under the standard. That strong, uh, distinctive characteristic from the hop, that bitterness, flavor are reduced. And this is a definitely a type of IPA that are recommended to the people who are a beginner, first time trying the IPA. This is a good choice. Um, Yes, it's very smooth, it's citrus. So I guess um, if you're looking for a beer, uh, foreign beers, the beers that you have never tried before in your life, and you're looking for something that is citrus and smooth, light body, I think this will be a good to go beer for a try. I guess it's worth money. It's sold at $10 for four cans, 500 milliliters. For this price, I think this will be a good choice for an entry IPA. I also don't like, I, 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 I also, I, 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 I also don't, I'm, I'm more geared to the uh, retail uh, bison beers and banana flavored beers. I used to not like that distinctive characteristic of the IPA beers, but as I do make more of introduction videos on the various IPAs that are out there from the entry level, standard level, and extreme level of the IPA, I think I understand um, the addiction of drinking IPA beer. And I feel that I do not longer hate IPA, no. but IPA is another delicious type of beer. And I'm in love. I fell in love with IPA now. So overall the taste is really good. So let's talk about the level. So it's written in Korean, directly translated into, into a Tiger Brothers Mild IPA Platinum. But if you see in the middle, there's a heart and there's two letters, word, it's actually a name. Let me explain first. Uh, at the bottom it says Neighbor Wet. Neighbor is neighbor.com. It's like Google of Korea. Neighbor Webtoon is where all these brilliant cartoon artists, they upload their style and their, their stories every day, every week, and every month on Neighbor Web. So being on the first rank in all that Webtoons out there in the Neighbor Webtoon, it's 
significant. And last time I checked, this Tiger Brother bar card, this cartoon has about 30,000. There are 30,000 existing people in the fan club for this fan club. The Muke, Muke character used for this level of the beard. So let, if I tell you about the, this cartoon, Tiger Brother Bark and the story in a short, a short way as possible is that there is a child with a mysterious power and there's a villain named White Rope is trying to use the child's mysterious, mysterious power to conquer the world and there are guardians, there are tigers monstrous sized tigers are the guardians for this child and they do what they can do to protect the child from the villain white bro and Muke, unlike these all these guardians with monstrous size physically this Muke is small very cute it's like a mascot in a, in a baseball game or something like that it's a very cute character and they did decide to use Muke as a model for this ipa beard i guess it makes sense because seeing a monstrous scary face tiger level will not work for the marketing i guess well in the end this cartoon is very popular and they uh, it was one of the best cartoon in the labor webtoon and this cartoon alone has 30,000 people in the fan club but using the webtoon the neighbor webtoon and collaborating with the beer brewers it really helps to introduce to people, especially people in in 20s to 30 in age, uh, introduce them about beers, uh, the craft beers, and that there are a lot of beer out there. So target audience is between the age of 20 and 30 because they are the most likely people to search for new tastes and new interesting things just like we do for the food. So it's very smart marketing strategy because this cartoon also, a webtoon, this webtoon also consists of fans, 30,000, 30,000 fans at, in age in 20, between the 20 and 30s. Have a drink. I love how this the hot flavor just quickly goes away because I'm not very used to the IPA yet. I'm also in the entry level. I think this is a perfect beer for a starter in the IPA beer world. It's very smooth, uh, very smooth citrus. I love the I love how this beer consists of these tropical and citrus smell. So if you're into a beer with a tropical beer and you're interested in trying uh, IPA style of beer and smooth, try it. It's a good way to start to find about taste of IPA beer. Well, overall, I would give 3 points seven out of four for this beer uh, because i already tried the entry level ipa i am now more geared of my interest towards finding more stronger and more uh interesting ipa and obviously that means it has to have the stronger ipa concentration or flavor on the flavors so i think i graduated the entry level so i would more love to find a stronger ipa and since this is a beginner level and i moved on from the entry level i would give 3.7 out of five uh, if you're interested in cartoons, animes, or webtoons, please go read Hyper Brother Bark Hunt. Uh, it's available in English, search it up in the Google, it's everywhere. And if you get a chance to get hands in one of these and you have never tried the IPA style beer before, I would recommend this because this is an entry level for the IPA beer. Well, overall, satisfaction. Thank you again for watching my video and I will come back with more interesting Korean beers that are out there for you. Well, thank you very much again and please don't forget to subscribe and like my video. Your support will definitely help me and I would love to find more beers to introduce to you. Thank you very much and this was Jonathan. Bye!